Welcome to another how-to video by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer here at Trend Micro. And today we're talking about the server migration, uh, specifically the server migration tool so we can move our settings from our Office Scan server to our Apex One server. So it's important to note that uh, the server migration consideration videos we made previously will lead into this and uh, they have consequences of client port that need to be evaluated before you even move to the install video. So just make a mental note of that and review that at your leisure. So the importance of moving the settings from your Office Scan server is there's some settings that the Apex Central policy does not cover. And these settings are fairly crucial, such as firewall policies and profiles, uh, the domain structure themselves, and it does bring this stuff over. Although we'll be using policies to target these domains once they're created, it's going to be important for the domains to be there when you migrate the agents and have settings. So uh, if someone accidentally clicks save, they don't get blank settings and cause some performance issues in your environment. So as you can see here, this is a listing of different, uh, different settings that come over with the server migration tool. And you can see smart protection sources. If you have a lot of smart protection sources, very important, uh, almost all of these. Uh, the most important note is this Office Scan client port. So when you do the server migration, it will necessarily change that client port. So you do this upon initial setup before you've migrated agents and you've taken that into the consideration of the update. So it's a fairly simple procedure. Um, just log into your Apex One console. You'll go to Administration, Settings, and then Server Migration brings you to this page and there's a link to download the Apex One settings export tool. And we need to move this to our Office Scan server to run and grab the settings for importing into our Apex One. So I'm gonna copy this file. We'll just show that in folder. It's a fairly small file as you see here. So we'll just copy this directly onto our Office Scan XG server. And I'm just taking a lazy roundabout here. <laughs> <laughs> you can copy this over however you like, however I uh, tend to use that admin share. So once you have it copied over, you can go on to your Office Scan XG server and we'll continue the migration here. So I copied it to the root, simply extract it wherever you want to extract it. And then we run the tool as administrator. Very important. Only takes a few seconds, and as you see, we have the three that come out of it, the three policies from the Office Scan server, which is related to DLP, the actual agent policies themselves, which we can use to import in Apex Central, and then the server settings migration, which is what we're really after right now. So I'm going to copy all of these over because we'll use them uh, eventually on later videos. And there we go. Now we're ready to import the settings. So from the same page we were on on the Apex One, we simply click the Import Settings button. It takes us here, and we just browse to where we copied them over. I'm on a different server than my Apex One, so <laughs> I had to actually go to the uh, the admin share to get these. All right, it's asking if I want to import the Apex One server settings and overwrite all current Apex One server settings. Very important to know that in, in our KB, it tells you what's going to move. And if you are not comfortable with moving those, then you'll have to, uh, you know, recreate the settings yourself. So right now it's a fresh setup, and I do want it to mimic my Office Scan XG just for the ease of agent migration. And there we go, server settings imported successfully. So now we'll be able to go to the agent management screen and we'll see the domains that weren't there before. And there they are. These are all the domains from my existing Office Scan server. And as you can see, there's no agents over here yet. However, the, the different levels of settings I have set are all gonna be here. I don't know if I particularly have any since I've been using Control Manager to issue policy to my agents. Uh, it's a very good way to do it, but we can go ahead and check and see if anything's in here. Uh, no. It, if there were, it would be here. <laughs> 
And that's it for the agent migration, uh, or not the agent migration, that's it for the server migration. We're ready to go ahead and move on and uh, do some agent migration videos. So until next video, have a good one. Bye.